Every day as business owners and salespeople, we start the day at the same starting line. But your day is full of obstacles and diversions. Keeping yourself focused on growing your business and maximizing revenue is a challenge. This podcast is designed to help you get better every day so you can meet and exceed the challenges as they come your way. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time. Let's dominate the day. Today we are on our sixth episode of our online presence series. We've already talked about developing a strong website, making sure your Google My Business is doing what it's supposed to be doing, testing that website for speed, writing blogs, doing keyword research, and today, today, testing, testing, testing one, two, three. Do you test when you do marketing or do you just do something once and if it doesn't work, then you stop? A lot of us do something once and then we go to our favorite Facebook group and we say, enter the thing that we just tried sucks. Enter the thing that we just tried doesn't work. Or when someone asks a question about the thing that we tried one time, we say it sucks or we say it doesn't work. When in fact, we have no business whatsoever commenting on if it works or it doesn't work. And in fact, unless you've tested something hundreds of times or you've spent tens of thousands of dollars testing something, you have no clue. I hate to say that to you, but it is the truth. It is the undeniable truth. See, testing is what marketing is all about. And you're not going to find out if something works if you're not testing. If you just do something the same way every single time, every single way, every single day, you're never going to know if something else is going to work. And that's the case with a lot of things in life. We would not have the telephone today if Alexander Graham Bell hadn't continued his testing to come up with the telephone. Same way with the light bulb and electricity. I can go on and on and on, but testing is important, especially when it comes to marketing. So how do you know what is working and what isn't working? A couple of things, feedback, lead flow, but there are tools that we can look at as well. For instance, Google Analytics, Google Search Console. Google Analytics tells us when people are coming to your website, how they got to your website, what pages they're visiting, how many pages they're visiting, how long they're staying on your website. Search Console allows us to watch that same traffic related to keywords and conversions. And if we're looking at that data, the data tells a story and the story tells us if something is working or not. Back in 2016, I so wanted direct mail to work for our business. I really did. And I spent almost $50,000 that year on direct mail. To be clear, we spent that money between fall of 2016 and spring of 2017. But we spent a ton of money hammering away, utilizing EDDM. And uh, it just wasn't a strategy that I felt elicited us spending that kind of money to get the traffic. But I know lots of people that utilize, they utilize direct mail and EDDM and they get lift. Am I an expert because I spent that much money at EDDM or direct mail? Nope. I tested it and the testing for my business did not work. But I've also tested text marketing. I've tested email marketing. I've tested telemarketing. I've tested Google ads, Facebook ads, on and on and on and on. We have a solid strategy based around a lot of those things because of the testing. I didn't do it one time and stop. Continued modifying, changing, editing, improving. And that's what testing is all about. Tweaking it to get it to where it will work or you know it's not part of your strategy. It doesn't mean that I think EDDM or direct mail sucks. In fact, if somebody asks me about either one of them, I tell them I'm not the person to ask. Find someone who is an expert. And that's what you should be doing. You should find someone who is an expert and ask their opinion, not someone in a Facebook group. The idea of marketing is to do many things and see what works and then niche it down based on what works and pour fire or pour gasoline on that fire. Pour fire on the gasoline. That's interesting. Pour gasoline on the fire. You do that, you'll see the results. The testing will pay off. You'll dominate the day.